Okay, guys, so here's the breakdown for the combo. We got a Daiwa Tatula Elite 7.1 gear ratio. It's spooled with a Nano Braid, 10 pounds. The rod is Halo Fishing's KS2 Elite 610, medium fast. And the bait is the Z-Man Finesse Frogs. It's paired with the Wanot EWG Gamakatsu. Okay, so in this short video, you'll see how effective this bait can be when given the right conditions. So as you can see, my retrieves are basically the same. It's like a jerk jerk and I retrieve it back to the boat. Uh, usually the bass will hit it as soon as it lands. Sometimes within about four feet, it'll hit it. Uh, sometimes they'll hit it when I'm actually swimming it back to the boat. And um, Z-Man is cool because they incorporated these, these paddles at the end of the, the frog's foot, the frog's legs. And it makes this churning, like a plopper sound, which is totally cool. It's a pretty big one. No, don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Wow. Look at that. <sighs> GoPro, stop recording. Go for a highlight. Got him. Got him. Got him. Weird looking bass. for highlight. for highlight.
issue. Yeah, so check this out. Oh. Boom, comes right out. I was like, how in the world can I lose that fish? Oh. But I double checked the hook and I realized that the barb was slightly bent out of shape. And uh, I had to go and bend it back with the pliers. That's a pretty good fish that I lost, if you look closely. It's a decent size, decent size keeper. Okay, so I've changed from the number one to the Wanat EWG Gamakatsu. Since then, yeah. no bending. GoPro highlight. So when, you, when I miss a hit, I usually have a soft plastic tight on. So here I am with the net bait, Mad Packer, full size creature bait. This thing obviously works. If you guys could try it, you, you won't be disappointed. I'm running a half ounce flipping weight with a worm hook and it's pegged. Pretty good. Okay, guys, thanks a lot for joining me. Until next time, we'll see you soon.